Hey everyone! Today I'm going to open up all four of these Jurassic World die-cast vehicles. These three are the smaller scale and the one back there is bigger. It just looks the same because it's farther away. But anyways, I'm going to start off with the Jeep right here. Let's get some... Oh, this is not scissors. This is a knife. We're going to use a knife and cut that open. And sorry I haven't done a lot of videos lately. I have a cold still, if you can tell. I do have some videos made, they're just not edited. Okay, we have some more... No, oh, oh, tape. Let's see, I'll just rip this open. Do I need a screwdriver? I think so. Alright, well... I will go get a screwdriver in just a second. Let's see. Okay, so... Oh, there's some tape on the door. A little piece of tape. Okay. The paint on this is really nice. You could see the logo right there? It says This one says Jurassic Park on it, so this is the older type of vehicle. And this turns a little bit. Alright, I have to go get a screwdriver. One second. Alright, I have got a screwdriver here and you just do it like that until it comes loose. Oops, almost. Let's see, a little bit more. Alright, there we go. So we have these little pieces of plastic holding it on. Alright, let's check out the bottom. Okay, there's some information on here. Oh, see this one says 143rd scale. Jeep Wrangler. And some other information on there. And jadatoys.com. You can go to that website. Alright, so these are all the same tires. And it's also got same wheels, nice red paint, number 12 Jeep, let's get a winch right here, and some extra fog lights, let's see, uh, the hood does not open, but both doors do, it's got some nice black stuff on the inside of the door for the interior, and uh, the whole interior is just black plastic, doesn't look like there's any paint or any kind of detailing. The steering wheel turns. Kind of hard to see, but it does turn. Let's see. The wheels do not pivot. No steering. But they do spin, spin, spin. Both the wheels spin very nicely. So... It rolls very nice, like that. Alright, let's 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 check out this one here. This is the Mercedes-Benz G-Class 4x4. Okay, where did my knife go? It is right next to me. Okay, so we're going to take this one out of the package. Oh, we haven't been looking at the packages, so you might need to know what's on here. Alright, so, uh, okay, these are the four that I'm doing today. The three smaller ones and the bigger one. There's also a remote control, uh, what is it called? A 6x6 and the remote control Jeep Wrangler. I have this, but I'll do that in a different video because it's remote control and there's probably a lot of stuff to talk about in that video. Uh, talks about the movie. It's PG-13. And there's the website again. Uh, they have barcodes and stuff about Mercedes and Jeep. And I think all the boxes are probably the same. Might have a different barcode. So here's the barcode for the 4x4. And I think everything else is pretty much the same. So let me get this out. And I will take the screw out and be right back. Alright, got the screw. These are good to save for stuff. Fixing stuff. Alright, so there's a number right there on the cardboard. Okay, so here is the Mercedes. This one says it's also 143rd scale, which I don't think is true because um, obviously a Jeep Wrangler should be smaller than this. And this is the same problem with this truck. I think these might be the same scale, but this Jeep is definitely not... Uh, bigger and taller than a truck, I don't think. But anyway, so let's keep looking at this one right here. 
All right, so here's the Jurassic World logo instead of Jurassic Park, because this is a newer vehicle. It says V8 on it. The hood does not seem to open. It's got a little brush guard, which is a different piece of plastic, but it doesn't come off. I mean, I'm sure you could break it off if you wanted to, but let's see. The doors uh, don't really have a good way to open them, except if you pull on the uh, rear view mirror or side view mirrors. Uh, otherwise, it's, it's kind of flat and uh, you can't really get your finger in there. So just use the mirrors. It also has some interior plastic. Here's a little, little piece of tape. Let's see, it's got the nice stripe going all the way down. This is number five. Five. This one has a cover on the, the wheel and the spare tire. There's another piece of tape stuck to me. Uh, I guess there was one tape, one piece of tape on each door. Okay, this has nice black wheels. A little bit glossy. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think that's about it. Pretty good detailing on the bottom for something like this. And the top. It's pretty nice. Alright, let's move over to the truck. This is a rescue truck. Doesn't specify what it is. Maybe it says something in here. I'm not sure. Let's just cut it open. Here comes the screwdriver for a visit. Oh, I'm gonna need that anyways. Okay, so let's take this one out. Oh, here is the barcode for the truck. Uh, I think the package was the same. Alright, let me unscrew this. Be right back. Alrighty. Got this. Got a piece of cardboard over there. Okay, here's the truck. I like this one a lot. I like the color. This also has Jurassic World logo, but it's black and white instead of blue and white and black. Okay, got a nice uh, protective window covering there. This is truck number 13. Chrome wheels. Very large brush guard, which is kind of loosely attached on there. This would be more easier to break off if you we're trying to break it off or accidentally breaking it off too. It's probably going to happen, maybe. Alright, so it's got large, um, what do you call it? Foot, I don't know, I don't even know, steps. Uh, the, the doors on this one are a little bit stuck. Here's some more tape. I don't know why they tape them closed. I don't think that tape really does any good. Okay, so get the tape off. Uh, once again, we have black interior. Can't really get your fingers in there to turn the steering wheel. Doesn't really matter because it doesn't do anything anyways. Uh, oh, here's some stuff here. 143rd scale also it says. Uh, the bottom on this is a little bit more plain than this one. Less sculpted. Uh, the, the tires are... The tires look like the same as these tires, but these are different. See, these are thinner. Um, the truck bed is covered. It's got a protective window screen thing right here. So people or animals can't attack you through the back window. It would be nice if the tailgate opened, but it doesn't. So all the vehicles just have two moving parts, uh, the two doors, and of course the wheels spin. All right, so these all roll very nicely. Okay, let's get the big one open. Okay, this is the Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6. This is for ages eight plus. The other ones are uh, for ages eight plus also. Alright, so here's the picture of it on the back. Here's some information. Uh, let's see. Welcome to Jurassic World. Here's the barcode. And logo. 
And that same thing over there that they've been having in all the boxes. Let's just get the box open. I think all they're all pretty much the same. <clears throat> Alright, so this will probably have a, a couple of screwdriver screws attached attaching it. Let's see. Yep, we got two. So I'll be right back. Okay, that came off pretty easily. There's the two screws. And this oh is this kind of attached? Okay, no. Alright, uh the it has a nice back. I mean uh cardboard stuff. It's got like fake sand and fake trees. I mean, you know, pictures of trees. Okay. So where did the oh that there it is. Alright, let's let's see. This one has big strap on it. Um I remember I used to buy cars a lot and the bigger ones would always have this strap. Alright, let's see. It's got a big logo on the door. It's got a nice metallic paint. I don't think, let's see, this one was not metallic. This one, it's silver so of course it's a little bit metallic. And the blue one, it's not metallic except for the silver. Okay, so got nice sparkly paint. It's a V8 also. Really cool wheels with the red stripe. Uh, uh, they feel kind of thin back here. Let's see. Is this, it feels like it could come off. It's like I don't know if you can see that, but if you push on it, see it, you could take it off. Well, I don't want to take it off, but you could if you want. Let's see. It would be nice if this opened, and it does. Let's see if we can see in there. I'll try to take a picture of it later for you. The light in there. Let's see, on the front. It's got a Mercedes logo. And another one right there. Nice grill with the silver paint on it. Nice headlights. It's got some random piece of tape. I don't know if that's from me or it was already on there. Probably from me. Let's see, here's the back tires. The tailgate does open, which is excellent. Uh, nice interior. I mean, truck bed. Cool tail lights. Let's see, it, it goes down. Like, you have to lift it up a little bit to unlock it and uh, push it down. Like that. Very cool. AMG G63 6x6. The bottom is pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty nice. Sorry, I'm, I have a cold. I'm talking weird. Um, let's see. Here's where the screws went in. Oh, here's some little exhaust things. Without mufflers and exhaust pipes. Okay, what else we got? I got the the windows are slightly foggy looking, slightly not, I think they should be a little bit clearer, but it's alright because it's a truck and it probably gets dirty. Um, nice chrome bars right here, it feels pretty solid. Probably if you really wanted to it, it, it could break or if you like maybe dropped it on a concrete step like right there it might crack. But um, it seems pretty sturdy. Overall, you probably wouldn't want to push in hard on these windows. It's got this little shade thing right here. Does that come off? I'm not sure. Looks like it, it would be pretty breakable. Okay, can we see inside? Okay, it's got a little bit of silver stuff right here the, for the mirror. Uh, this is kind of rubbery. These are bendable. So they bend instead of break. Let's see, inside there's a little bit of uh, detail right there where the uh, like the gas and the speedometer would be, or speedometer, whatever. Okay, this does not really seem to turn, or if it does it's very hard to turn, but uh, I can't really get it to turn. Not that it matters because there's no steering. These do not pivot or anything. It just goes straight. 
Uh, can't really see in there. Can't the camera's not gonna fit in there. I can't. But it's got some nice seats. Let's see. I'm trying to move the seats. Uh, yep, they come out. <laughs> if you push on the seat, it will come off. But I'm sure that it goes right back in. It's probably just a slot right there. And if I could get my fingers in there to push it down, I'm sure it would stay. Just like that. Look at that. I, I can't even see what I'm, I'm doing and it just went right back in there. Alright, you can see the little rear view mirror right there. It's kind of hard. It's not, it's not soft like these ones. Um, this is pretty nice, I think. Uh... Yeah, I would recommend getting any of these that you want. Um, they're all really nice. I really like the big one because just it just look, it looks cool in, in the size. And I really like this one because I've always liked the Jeep, but they're all cool. I like this one because of the color. And uh, I, I'm not really too much of a fan of this one, but, you know, if, if you like the movie and if you like this, or if you just like Mercedes, Benz, that one's a good one to get. All right. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, stick around for some photos, and I will see you later. Bye!